Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about fall coasters made with infusible ink. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name's Nick. I'm the Bearded Housewife. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about fall coasters that I made using infusible ink and the infusible ink square coasters. Whoa, that was a mouthful but we'll get through it, I promise. This is what they look like. Can you see that? There we go. I used two different colors. This is the cherry red and this is the tangerine. Aren't they cool? I'm gonna use my uh, Cricut Joy for this because this is a smaller project, so why not? Because the Cricut Joy is so easy to use. Let's head over to my blog. I'll show you how to get the file. Then we'll move over to Design Space. We'll tweak a few things. I'll show you how to load it into the machine and then we'll get to making it. Okay, we are here at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're gonna head over to the Resource Library tab. If you don't have access to the library, you can click the Get Access tab. You'll fill out your information and then you will be emailed the password. But for now, we're gonna click Enter the Library. We're gonna scroll down until we see the pumpkin fall coasters. Click on that link and we'll download it to the computer. And now that we're in design space, we can go to upload, upload image and browse. Find where we downloaded the file to our computer. Click open and save. Click the image and then click insert image. It'll bring it into our canvas. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. And all you have to do is click that green Make It button. Now, since we're using the Cricut Joy, we're gonna select On The Mat. And because we're using our Easy Press, we wanna make sure to mirror both layers, or I'm sorry, all layers. There we go and hit continue. Once your computer connects to your Joy machine, you are going to select infusible ink as the material, and then we can start to load it into the machine. Okay, we're going to apply the infusible ink to the green standard grip cutting mat for the Cricut Joy. You want to um, apply the infusible ink with the carrier sheet down. I always use a brayer when I use, um, well, pretty much any material. I hope that wasn't lined in properly. There we go. I use a brayer every time that I use any, any kind of material just to make sure that it adheres well. Now I'm just going to design space, waiting for design space to tell me to load the mat. And it will feed it automatically. Now Design Space will tell you that it's ready to go. You click the green go button and you're on your way to cut the material out. I'm gonna speed up this part of the video so that you don't have to sit there and watch me cut everything out. All right, now that everything is cut out and I have gone ahead and cracked everything in order to release the negative spaces from the infusible ink, I'm gonna warm up my Easy Press. According to the Cricut Heat Guide, uh, we wanna set it to 400 degrees and we wanna set the timer to 60 seconds. I'm gonna grab my Easy Press mat and place my cardstock on top of the mat. This is to help with any transfer. You don't want any kind of color to transfer onto your mat. All right, now we're gonna take one of our coaster blanks and it comes with a lint-free cloth. You wanna make sure that you wipe that down good. You wanna get rid of any kind of oils or moisture that came from your hands or might be on the product itself. 
before we apply the image I want to show you guys do you see that white spot right there that is just the carrier sheet you just want to make sure that you remove the ink portion of the infusible ink I have not had an issue if you leave any of the carrier sheet on the uh, cutout when you press it into the coaster uh, some people might argue with me but I have not had any issues so far so we're gonna lay that down colored side down so that the carrier sheet is facing up. I'm gonna grab a piece of uh, Cricut res heat resistant tape just to make sure that that stays in place while we're pressing the image. Set that on top of the cardstock. I'm gonna grab my piece of butcher paper. Place that over the coaster. Take our easy press and set it on top of the coaster and start the timer. Now it looks like I'm adding pressure. I'm really not putting pressure on the uh, coaster itself because the heat guide says that we do not want to put any pressure on it at all. I'm just placing my hands there. So um, I'm going to speed up the timer a little bit. All right, the machine has beeped. The countdown has finished. Lift up the easy press, put it back in its cradle, take off the butcher paper, and be careful because it is going to be hot. I like to just kind of slide the coaster off of the cardstock. And I'm going to put the box of the infusible ink on top just to make sure that everything stays down while it's cooling. I'm going to grab my other coasters and finish pressing all of the images, repeating the steps that I just showed you. All right, now that everything has been pressed and the coaster itself is completely cool to the touch, you can peel away the infusible ink carrier sheet. And there you go. Look how vivid the color is. Everything's nice and smooth. It's totally infused into the coaster. Continue to do that for the other uh, coasters. And there we go, your set of coasters are complete. How easy were these? I mean, I think it took maybe an hour total from getting the file onto the computer and finishing it up. That's not that bad for four coasters. Come on, you could probably even do it quicker if you want. I hope that you guys like this video. Uh, if you do, make sure that you hit like and subscribe to this channel so you're notified every time that I make a new video. Head over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. I have tons of other Cricut stuff. Um, how, to, um, how to use Cricut Design Space, how to make different cards, how to do different paper crafts, decor, you name it. I have lots of stuff on there. T-shirts too, T-shirts are a big thing. Until next time guys, I'm Nick, I'm The Bearded Housewife. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you soon, bye.